Welcome to the Christmas edition of Statter 911's Animated Comments. I'm joined tonight by a good friend who I have long admired and one of the great figures of the fire service in the 21st century. Of course I'm talking about the fire critic also known as Fireboy from Roanoke. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. I like the new set. But too bad about Dave destroying the old set when he went on his rampage. So where is your regular partner? I've heard some rumors. I don't think we should go there. No really. It is important that your audience know the truth. No. Please no. I'm not really authorized to talk about that and I could get into lots of trouble. If it is Dave you are scared of. Don't worry I will take care of him. He may be a head or more taller than me and 100 pounds heavier, but I know some moves that will make him wish he hadn't messed with you. Please no please no. I beg of you. There has been enough violence. All I can say about the incident is in this statement that has been released from the world headquarters of Statter911.com the premier fire service website. Premier. You said premier, that is crazy and quite comical. Come on. No one believes that crap. But go ahead let's hear this statement from Statair. Let's see if he follows his own PR advice of getting the truth out and getting it behind you. Okay. Here goes. The management of Statter911.com the premier fire service website edited by a man who is a legend in the fire service has become aware of an incident that occurred following our Thanksgiving Day broadcast. We are not at liberty to say what happened because it is a personnel matter and under investigation by a number of local and federal law enforcement agencies. Statter 911 is cooperating fully with those investigations and will have no further comment on this matter. Also, a note to the press. Please remove your cameras from outside of our world headquarters building. This is fair warning that you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law if you show one picture of our building. We also have a team of lawyers standing by willing to sue the rear ends off anyone who takes a picture. Oh yes. Mr. First Amendment himself Dave Statter. When the heat is on suddenly freedom of the press is not so important. What a hypocrite. Please now fire boys from Roanoke. You know we are not permitted to say anything bad about Mr. Statter. Mr. Statter. Really? Mr. Statter. You have got to be kidding me. Does he make you call him that? I'm afraid so. But I don't mind. I really like my job. And Mr. Statter is a really good boss. Good boss. You must be kidding. This is a man who beats you and makes you work Christmas Day. Why isn't Statter working today? He's Jewish. He can work Christmas Day. No. That's okay. It's alright that I'm working because I'm Jewish too. Oh come on. No you're not. Stop it already. Dave's just telling you to say that so he won't look bad. Let me prove it. Shalom Fireboy from Roanoke. Borok it all at Anoy Eloheinu. Oh stop it already. You are embarrassing yourself and your family. Be proud of what you are. Don't cover up for Dave. I know. I know. I'm so ashamed of myself. I was just trying to save face and my job. I think I'm going to cry. I understand. I'm not ashamed to admit that Dave has made me cry once or twice. He has written so many awful things about me. There. There. It's okay. I didn't know Mr. Statter made you cry fire boy from Roanoke. Really. I always thought of you as so big and strong. Or at least strong. Sorry. I meant no harm with my unintentional short joke. Don't worry I get the short jokes all of the time. It is just very hurtful when Statter does it. I'm also very very hurt that the man I haved looked up to like a father for all of these years Captain Willie Wines at IronFireman.com joins Dave in this. I know my friends John and Tiger also do make fun of me. They make jokes behind my back about how I can't see out of the windshield of the fire engine. They use some secret code. It's not like any of them are much taller than me. I know I'm really the bigger man. But let's move on. What I want to know is when are we going to tell the truth about your partner who vanished within hours of the Thanksgiving Day broadcast? 
That was the day, when he let the whole world know what a tyrant Dave is. The cops are going to get to the bottom of this. I know Dave did something to that poor, poor man. Please. Please. I beg of you. Don't say that. Mr. Statter assured me he hadn't a thing to do with the disappearance. You know my partner had a drinking problem and Mr. Statter believes he probably fell into the Potomac River. I believe him. I'm sure the cops will take care of Statter soon enough. Then I will truly be king of the fire blogs. Then no one will be able to dispute that I'm the best and bravest of them all. And Dave won't have internet access in his jail cell. He won't be able to write his nasty comments always questioning what I say. He thinks he is so smart. Always with the comebacks. Always with the short jokes. By the way, what is your partner's name who disappeared? I don't know. He would never say. He was so embarrassed about having to work for Statter he refused to use his name on the air or even tell us. Truth be told I suspect he and Dave go way back. I believe they were firemen together in Oxon Hill in PG County. You don't believe that garbage too? Dave was never a fireman. He just writes that in his bio, so people will read his blog. The story I heard is he tried to apply at Oxon Hill. Showed up one day. When they sent him out to get a can of friction loss. He never returned. Maybe so. Maybe so. But how about all of those stories he tells of his days with PGFD? He took them all out of Jerry Engel's book Proby Days. Every one of them. It is disappointing to hear that. Now I know. Look I think you can help me put an end to Dave Statter and Statter911.com. Can we turn off the cameras? Yes. Of course. This has been a big waste of time for the audience anyway. Let me just say goodbye to our viewers around the world. Thanks for tuning in to Statter 911's animated comments. While we were unable to get to any of your comments today we will make sure we do in our next broadcast. We leave you though with a special message from our leader the smartest man with the best blog in the fire service today. Dave Statter. Mr. Statter wants all of you to know just how much he appreciates your support of Statter 911. And Mr. Statter, Mrs. Statter 911 better known as Hillary and their 11-year-old son Sam who is now taller than fire boy from Roanoke wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a happy and safe New Year. Bye-bye. You had to read the crack about their nice boy being taller than me. Was that really necessary? And how did Dave end up with such a nice beautiful wife and great kid anyway? Mr. Statter told me he wouldn't let me have my Christmas bonus if I didn't read it as written. The cameras are off now. What did you want to talk to me about? Are you sure they are off? Yes. I believe you know much more about your partner's disappearance and are just too scared of Dave to come clean. Mr. Statter believes he fell into the river. That and what was in the statement are all that I can say. Cut the crap. I saved up some money that I thought Jerry from Kentland might need for bail. But he didn't need it. It's yours if you just go to the cops with what you know. I'm sure Dave did something to your partner or more likely had someone else do it. We know he doesn't like to get his hands dirty. I'm so sorry. I can't help you. I have a large family to feed. I don't want to fall in the river too. I'm scared. We will take care of you. It isn't just me. I came here on behalf of some others. Big names in the fire service blogging business and they have money too. It can all be yours. They just want to see Dave gone. Like who? Well for one fire geezer Bill Shum. He's never really liked Dave. But Bill likes me. It frosted Dave that Bill invited me to share the booth at Firehouse Expo. They have been on the outs ever since. I thought they were good friends. Dave always writes about Bill. And what does Bill's friend fossil medic Mike Ward have to say about all of this? Bill isn't happy that Dave is giving more attention to firetruckblog.com these days. As for fossil medic he's a good soldier and will do whatever Bill tells him to do. It goes back to some incident when they were in Fairfax together. Neither of them will talk about it. I'm not saying I know anything. But even if I were to help you. I have a big family. A children. And it costs a lot to feed them. We have a big family too. We can take care of you. 
You are a firefighter. We are firefighters. Dave isn't. There are a lot who want to see Dave gone. They know I should be the undisputed king of the fire blogs. Bloggers like Happy Medic, Backstep Firefighter, Command Safety, Firehouse Zen, Fire Special Operations, The Fire PIO, and South Carolina on Fire, would not be unhappy to see Dave go away for a long while. In fact just about the whole Fire EMS blog site feel the same way. Trust me there are a lot of people who have had enough of Dave's antics. Even his buddies like Billy Goldfeder at Firefighter Close Calls, and Mike Ledgers at Raleigh Weight Blog are through with him. Also Will Wyatt the firefighter author from Texas knows that Dave has been mean to me. He even sent me one of his books to cheer me up. Really? Will Wyatt wrote, and a paycheck too. Mr. Statter really hawked his book on the blog. I'm surprised by this development. Don't for a moment think that was a freebie. Trust me Dave is taking his cut leaving, Will with virtually nothing. That's the way it always is with Dave. Didn't you read that investigative report Chief Rees and Art Goodrich wrote about Dave? It opened a lot of eyes. They want Statter 911 to go away. It's kind of like what happened at the TV station. Trust me lots of fire chiefs paid good money so Statter would no longer be a reporter. All you have to do is follow the money. To be honest I heard rumor of that. But Mr. Statter always told me he left on his own. I'm not sure how I can help you. But I can sure use the money. By the way you didn't mention Willie Wines, and aren't you concerned that John at Fire Daily and Tiger Schmidt and Dorf are plotting against you? You are correct. Willie is so far up Dave's side see we will need heavy duty rescue for extrication. As for the other two. They are nothing without me. But you will see they aren't completely stupid. Once we get rid of Dave. They will stop making fun of me. They will get with the program or I will crush them too. I may be small in size. But I'm big and powerful. And by the way no more of this fireboy from Roanoke stuff. It is now and forever king of the fire blogs. So what do you say? Are you on board? I say long live the king of fire blogs. You know I have always liked you. And to be truthful I need the money. Not just for my family, but to pay the doctor. What doctor? In case anyone investigated further Mr. Statter really wanted me to prove that I was Jewish. I don't know if you know, but that operation hurts a lot more when you are an adult. I'm still in pain, my wife is horrified, and I need the cash for the doctor bill. I know it won't surprise you, but Mr. Statter does not provide health insurance. I'm so sorry that Madman made you do that. Something similar to that happened to me. But it wasn't for religious reasons. That's why I talk like this. We will get our revenge when Dave is behind bars and I'm king of the fire blogs. We will talk again my friend. Good night and Merry Christmas. And by the way you might want to put ice on where it hurts. Oh believe me I have. Merry Christmas. One more question for you. What's that? I've been very worried for you King. Do you think you will get to sit with the adults at Christmas dinner or will you again be at the children's table? I heard that it didn't go well at Thanksgiving for you and I'm so sorry you still have to sit with the kids. It must be disheartening after all these years. Trust me that won't happen once I'm truly the king of the fire blogs. All will bow down and respect me as if I were 5 feet 9 inches tall.